Thank you for choosing Silke. For a pleasant experience, please pay careful attention to the following important announcements. Thank you for your attention. See you on board our latest Boeing 737 soon. Good evening, it's Monday, March 18, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and here's all you need to know in News Bits tonight. The National Bureau of Investigation has filed murder charges against the ex-lover of Christine Silawan. Authorities are looking into jealousy as one of the possible motives for the crime. Here's Sheila Gravinas for the details. The National Bureau of Investigation in Central Visayas has filed murder charges at the Lapu-Lapu City Regional Trial Court against the suspect in the killing of 16-year-old Christine Silawem. The 17-year-old former lover of Silawan was arrested by the NBI on Saturday in Lapu-Lapu City. NBI Central Visayas Director Tomas Enrile said the arrested person is considered the primary suspect in the killing of Silawem. And really added that the suspect admitted that he committed the crime because of jealousy. The family of the victim was also invited to the court for the filing of the case. Lourdes, the mother of Christine, said that she would like to personally ask the suspect about his reason for killing her daughter. Four other minors, identified by the NBI as witnesses to the case, were also invited. Police Regional Office Central Visayas Director Dubal Sena said the arrested suspect was one of the persons of interest in their investigation. He added that it doesn't matter what police agency managed to capture the suspect. The regional police clarified that Jonas Bueno, who was arrested in Davao City Friday, was not a suspect or person of interest in the Salawan case. Bueno is a suspect in the killing of a 60-year-old farmer in Danau City last January. The family of Christine also said that they do not know Bueno. Sheila Gravinez, Newsbits Tonight. To all motorists, fill up your gas tanks as a big-time oil price hike is set to take effect tomorrow. Oil companies such as Shell, Petron, Caltex, Total, Sea Oil, Flying V, PTT Philippines, Eastern Petroleum, and Petrogas announced earlier that there will be movement in oil prices. Gasoline price is set to increase by 1 peso and 45 centavos per liter, while diesel will have a 30 centavo increase per liter. Meanwhile, oil companies with kerosene products will have a 40 centavo per liter price hike. The Department of Energy attributed the price changes to the tight supply in the Asian region, coupled with healthy demand. More news stories in Newsbits tonight after this short break. Entertainment News with Cherry Coronel. How much does Angel Luxin love Neil Arce? Much more than the price tag of her birthday gift to him, of course. Businessman and film producer Neil posted on Instagram last Sunday a photo of a golf cart. Tagging Angel, he captioned, Best birthday gift. Angel's gift is a villager to model and its base model, according to the brand's site, has a retail price that starts at 354,450 pesos. The general's daughter lead star also organized a birthday party for her boyfriend. It was an outdoor celebration with the band River Maya performing. Neil gave his girlfriend a huge thanks through his Instagram post on Monday. The two officially became a couple in February 2018. Charlie Coronel, Miss Beats Tonight. Here's the latest weather advisory from Pagasa. 
Magandang hapon. Narito po ang update sa ating monitor na si Tropical Depression Chedeng. Kaninang alas 4 ng hapon, yung sentro ni Chedeng ay nasa layong 285 kilometers silangan, timog silangan ng Davao City. Napanatili ni Chedeng ang lakas ng hangin na umaabot ng 45 kilometers per hour malapit sa gitna at yung pagbugso umaabot naman ng 60 kilometers per hour. Sa kasalukuyan, ito ay kumikilos pakanluran sa bilis na 15 kilometers per hour. At nakikita natin sa ating satellite imagery, bagamat nasa gitna pa ng karagatan na uh, yung uh, sentro ng uh, bagyo, yung kanyang outer window ay uh, tumatama na or humahampas na sa silangang bahagi ng Mindanao. At uh, base po sa ating forecast track, uh, itong si Chedeng ay posibleng mag-landfall dyan sa may southeastern coast ng Davao Oriental or kung mas bababa pa ang pagkilos nito sa may silangang bahagi ng Davao Occidental. At habang tumatawid ito dyan sa may katimugang bahagi ng Mindanao, ito ay posible ng humina bilang isang low pressure area. Nakataas pa rin po ang Tropical Cyclone Warning Signal Number 1 sa Davao Oriental, Compostela Valley, sa katimugang bahagi ng Davao del Norte, kasama na ang uh, Island, and Island Garden City of Samal, Davao City, Davao del Sur, Davao Occidental, silangang bahagi ng North Cotabato, silangang bahagi ng Sultan Kudarat, silangang bahagi ng uh, South Cotabato, General Santo City, at yung silangang bahagi ng uh, Sarangani Province. At kanina pong alas 5, nagtaas din or naglabas ang Mindanao PRSD ng Yellow Warning Level for Heavy Rainfall Advisory sa mga lalawigan ng Agusan del Norte, Agusan del Sur, Surigao del Sur, Davao Oriental, Compostela Valley, Davao del Norte at Davao City. Posible po yung mga pagba, especially sa mga low-lying areas at yung mga katabing ilog at sapa at yung pag-guho uh, naman ng lupa ay possible sa mountainous areas. And uh, mag, uh, yung ating mga kababayan ay uh, pinapaalalahan na mag-monitor lalo na sa ating heavy rainfall advisory na nilalabas ng Mindanao PRSD. Naka-update po yan sa ating Twitter and Facebook accounts, DOST underscore Pag-asa. Pwede rin kayong pumunta sa aming official website, bagong.pagasa.dust.gov.ph. At yan muna ang update kay Tropical Depression Chedeng. Ang susunod pong severe weather bulletin ay ilalabas mamayang alas 8 ng gabi at ang next press briefing mamayang alas 11 ng gabi. Mula po sa pag Weather and Flood Forecasting Center, ako po si Ariel Rojas. Magandang hapon at mag-ingat po yung mga kababayan natin sa Mindanao. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter, and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim. Good evening.